atoms are simply defined as the smallest indivisible part of any matter. That means atoms are very small in size. How can we say this? If we take the same example of a wall, then all the bricks that make up the wall are always small compared to the complete wall, right? Similarly, basic units that form a particular matter are always small compared to the complete substance. Now tell me, how big or small do you think a single atom will be? Maybe we can take another small entity and then compare the atom to it. Can we think of an ant? Um, probably not. Okay, so ants carry little grains of sugar. It means grains are smaller than ants. So maybe we can take a grain of sugar. How about a sand grain which is smaller than the grain of sugar? But we can still see a grain of sand with our naked eyes. So can you tell me something smaller than this? Yes, we know that microorganisms like bacteria are tinier than what we can imagine because we cannot see them with our naked eyes. So is an atom as small as a bacterium? You will be amazed to know that a single cell like a bacterium is made up of millions of atoms. Astonished, right? But the fact is that the bacterium can be observed at least using a microscope. However, seeing a single atom is nearly impossible. Yes, the size of an atom is that small. So that means there will be no units to measure it either, right? No, that's incorrect. In spite of the fact that it's so tiny, we still measure the size of an atom with atomic radius. The radius of an atom is measured using units like nanometers. Wait a second, do we know what a nanometer is? In simple words, 1 over 10 to the power 9 meters gives us 1 nanometer. So does that mean 1 nanometer is 10 to the power negative 9? Yes, that's how small a nanometer is. And atoms are measured in nanometers. So imagine how small they will be. Now let's take an example of a hydrogen atom. The atomic radius of a single isolated hydrogen atom is around 5 times 10 to the power negative 11. That's like 0.05 nanometers. Amazingly tiny. Now tell me, if atoms are so small, why do we need to study them at all? Needless to say, they make up the entire globe. Yes, everything that we see around us is made up of atoms. Even our body is made up of atoms. So studying atoms in detail becomes necessary despite their small size. Now if they are so small, do you think they will have any mass? Think for a moment. If we say that atoms come together to make up matter and if matter always has mass, it means atoms must possess at least some amount of mass. Yes, although atoms are very tiny, they do have some mass. But how do we calculate the mass of a single atom? Is it practically possible to do so? Is there any weighing scale available to weigh the mass of a single atom? If not, can it be designed? Let's find that out in our next video.